Oh, good evening, guys. I just wanted to show you a new kit I got. Uh, didn't really see much on YouTube, so figured I'd uh, uh, put some information on there. This is the Oak Hills Research WM2 watt meter. And I uh, just figured that uh, you might like to see what, uh, what this is. And uh, I'll take a couple little videos here and there as I put this kit together. So uh, I'll show you a close up of it, of all the parts. So with this kit, we have the chassis. This is already pre-drilled, has all the holes drilled and, and uh, ready to go. And then you have your uh, texture painted black cover. You also have the uh, stickers, front and back of the chassis, power cable for the light inside the meter, pre-printed circuit board, and here's all the components here. There are two toroids in this, in this bag that we'll have to wind. All the knobs and switches. Uh, this one is standard with SO239. Uh, this is the coax cable that's needed and some extra wire, uh, zip ties, hardware, and then of course the meter itself. I did buy a BNC conversion kit because all of my QRP rigs are BNC, not SO239. So I wanted to to put BNC on it instead of SO239. Well, I've got all the resistors, well, all the, well, almost all the resistors mounted. I have diodes mounted, I have a few of the capacitors and the IC chips. So, let's look at, uh, look at that for you. And see if that'll lighten up for you. There we go. This is what it looks like on the board side and the solder side. There we go. So I wired those guys up and now I'm going to add the switches to the board and wire them in. The next step is to put the stickers on the outside cabinet. So uh, we've got to punch out these. I had to wash the cabinet just in case it had grease on it from, uh, from manufacturing. So that's done. It's washed. It's dried. Now I have to punch out these holes in the uh, stickers. They're already cut out. I just have to uh, pull them out and then uh, line it up and stick it on the cabinet. This is uh, not the easiest part. Kind of close, not perfect, but it's close. Okay, the stickers are on. Kind of messed up the back one a little bit, but we'll make it work. Um, putting the spacers in for the uh, the circuit board to sit on, and now the instructions say to put the SO239 connectors in, but. I have the BNC connectors, so I'll start working on that. Well, now I have the circuit board installed and the knobs on the front, and uh, it's all screwed down. So uh, let's see what the next step is. Oh, okay. Let's install the uh, power connector. Well, I now have the meter face installed and uh, the battery pack is in there let's see uh, these are all wired in all the wires except for the meter itself are connected and um, knobs are on so yeah I need to uh, install this capacitor and uh, the meter there's still a resistor left we might use but uh, we're almost done so I have one problem. I got this fully assembled and I go to calibrate it and the meter is just off the scale. I mean, watch this. Boom. And it's just there constant. All the time. 
I go to make my adjustments and it's always there. Uh, then the directions say when you're done calibrating, you cut the test loop, do not cut JP1. Uh, look, and JP1 is the only thing I can see. Um, well, so, uh, we're not going to be able to see it. There's, in there, there's a test loop that you're supposed to add, and on the step where you install the wire at JP1, you also install the one at, on test loop. Well, evidently, I didn't fully read that step, so I only installed JP1 and not the test loop. So now I gotta somehow try to install that test loop. So, for my solution, there's a blue wire. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Here's a, the long blue wire. That one's supposed to be there, but right in the middle there is a blue wire that I added. What I did was the test loop uh, basically tied two ICs together. And I just soldered the pins from one to the other. I hope it doesn't create extra inductance that's going to... Uh, cause problems with the calibration procedure but at this point I don't really have a choice because unless I completely unsolder and uninstall the BNC connections and quite a few wires and things like that so at this point I'm gonna try this okay so the testing is now complete uh, I actually also thought that I was going to move, remove the test wire, but they said don't do that, you cut the little jumper. Uh, so, there is a way, I just read in the troubleshooting, to unsolder from the B and C connectors, remove these and unscrew the the board and get it out of there without having to remove any wires and I could add a test loop on there. Um, I think I'm going to leave it like it is. It's calibrated like it is, so I'm going to leave it like this. But uh, I did just clip the jumper wire to uh, when calibration's done. They say to clip the jumper wire, so I did that. So now I'll put the cover on and now I have a watt meter. So Okay, here we are back again. Uh, this time with the Elecraft setup, again I've got this on the 10 watt scale, the watt meter. Now I can tell you I've set the power to the Elecraft to 5 watts. Check that, yep, 5 watts. So um, that looks good. So now let's just see what the meter says. It's set on 10 watts. It is actually just right above, that might be 5.1, 5.2. Um, so that looks pretty decent. I'm going to go to rever uh, reflected power. That's about a 0.4. I just calculated that out. And that comes out to um, 1.79 is what, what 5 and 0.4. Of course, it's a little off because it's actually slightly above 5. And I'll use the tune button and check. And this says 1.6, 1.7. It's staying on 1.7 now. So the radio agrees with what the watt meter says uh, pretty much, uh, pretty close. Uh, so that said, that actually looks pretty good. Um, I'll go ahead and ID. I haven't seen any traffic, but, but now... Let's drop the power down. Let's go down to half a watt. Go to the one watt scale and see if they agree. Okay, so the this meter says 0 0.6. The radio says 0 0.5. Um, the radio was a little bit higher. It was probably 5.2 watts when the radio said 5 watts. Let's go down. 0.1 watts. 
okay it's saying point two right now on the meter point one on the radio point two on the meter so uh, the accuracy one I need to check I'm gonna actually email them a check on the test loop that I left in there if that could cause a problem, maybe with inductance or something like that for the accuracy. Uh, but I don't know that the Elecraft is 100% accurate. Um, this is supposed to be a test grade meter. If they're off by a tenth here and a tenth there, I'm really not that concerned. So, uh, uh, anyways, it looks like it's working. SWR seems to match what uh, the Elecraft's saying pretty close. So uh looks like it's going to be a good addition.